What's up, Sekings? Stefan here from Sekray. Today, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on the new T-Mobile Revel 5G. Stay tuned. having a great day just before i start this video if you guys do want more content on the rebel 5g definitely leave a comment in the comment section down below so i know what type of videos you guys want me to make on this device that helps out more than you know also if you're new to the channel definitely consider subscribing and joining the tech gang as well as turning on the notification bell to be notified every time i do upload a new video but let's go ahead and stroll straight into this video. I'm gonna be showing you 10 tips and tricks on this device. All right, everyone, so the first trick I'm gonna be showing you is the Smart Manager. Let's go into Settings right here. And we're gonna scroll all the way down until it says Smart Manager. Go ahead and click on that. Now, there are a few different things on here. We have Auto Start, we have Battery, we have Memory. Now, it says our condition is excellent currently. Uh, but if you guys want to free up some residual storage in your device or you guys want to go ahead and stop apps that are running in the background that you guys are not utilizing, definitely go ahead and check this out. Really, really do like this application. I really think it's well optimized, especially for T-Mobile's Rebels phones. Really do like this. Another thing you can do is actually hold on the screen and add a widget. And there's actually a Smart Manager widget. If you scroll all the way down, go ahead and hold on Smart Manager right there. Now, if you would like to optimize your phone at any given time, go ahead and click on that, and it's gonna go ahead and optimize your device. As you guys see, it says device optimized. All right, everyone, so the next tip I'm gonna be showing you is in the camera, and it's going to be the hidden camera utilities. Now, as you guys know, we have auto, we have video, we have portrait, we have Super Night and Pro, but we do have a few other ones and they're under this More tab. We have Slow Mo, we have Stop Motion, we have Light Trace. This is definitely one of the camera features I'd like to check out. We also have Pano Mode, we have Super Macro, High Pixel. And the great thing is you can actually put these on the quick panel. So say you use Super Macro more than Pro Mode, we're gonna go ahead and take Pro Mode, put it up here, we're gonna take Super Macro and we will add it right there. Click Done, and as you guys see, we have super macro right there. So very, very cool thing that you guys can do in the camera, especially if there's a certain feature that you like over the other. All right, everyone, so the next tip I'm gonna be showing you is called NXT Vision. Now this is gonna let you customize your screen. So first we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna scroll all the way down to NXT Vision right here. So it's visual enhancement. Now we have a few different things right here. We have visual enhancement. You guys can go ahead and set that up if that is not turned on already, but this gives you a more vivid screen color. Uh, we also have SDR to HDR. We have reading mode as well to optimize the screen. So if you guys do wanna go ahead and use this, if you guys read a lot, I would definitely use that. We also have our screen color right here that we can pick and we can also set it to colder or warmer or wherever you guys would like to set it to. I think straight in the middle is perfect. Some people don't really think that is the way to go. So definitely customize this to your liking. We also have a sunlight display mode where you can basically increase the readability under the sunlight as it says right there. Very good mode to use. Next thing we're gonna be taking a look at is some of the hidden utilities, and these are gonna be in your drop down bar menu. So go ahead and drop this down. Now, as you guys see, we have these basic utilities right here. The thing is, you can actually add more. All you have to do is click on this pencil, and we actually have a ton more hidden options right here. And as you guys see, we have a bunch of different utilities that are hidden. Uh, we have dark theme, data saver, hotspot, location, focus mode, grayscale, nearby share, and reading mode, NXT vision, if you guys would like to use that as a shortcut. So something I definitely use is dark theme. So we're going to go ahead and add that to this. And let's go ahead and add hotspot as well. And let's go ahead and add grayscale. Now that we added those, those are going to be on your utilities, as you guys can see right here. So we can go ahead and utilize dark theme. Again, if you guys don't have dark theme on already, I would definitely recommend using that. Um, it definitely puts less strain on the eyes. All right, everyone, so the fifth tip I'm gonna be showing you is the backlit power key. Now, as you guys know, when you are charging this device, this power key does light up, but you actually can do something else that's pretty cool with that. So we're gonna go ahead and look up backlit power key. Go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna click on backlit power key charging light. Go ahead and click on that. And if you guys don't have notifications light on, definitely go ahead and click that on. This is a very nice feature to have. It is going to blink like the old notification lights, but it's gonna be a little bit cooler, a little bit more hip. 
it's going to be on the right side of your phone on your power key i thought this was a really cool feature overall because you really don't even see notification lights lately all right everyone so the six feature is going to be in the camera as well and this is going to be the google lens so we're going to go inside of the camera go ahead and click on this google lens it's right by the shutter button go ahead and click that and we're going to go ahead and click open camera we're going to click allow and we're going to go right here to this page real quick now really cool thing about this is you can actually copy the text off of any given object so let's go ahead and do this right now and show you how this looks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up right here. Go ahead and take a photo. And the great thing about this is you can actually go ahead and copy all of the words that's on this. So this is going to be a very useful tool for anybody that's in college. If you guys need any citing or you need something um, copied and pasted to an essay or a work project, this is going to be a very, very great tool for that. And just in general, if you want to take a picture of something and copy it and paste it, just in general, it's really, really fast and efficient. So I thought this was a really cool feature that they implemented through the Google Lens. All right, everyone, so our next tip is going to be called Super Bluetooth. Now, if you guys did not know, we do have Super Bluetooth on here. I'm going to show you what that is in a second. So first thing you want to do is go into Settings. You're going to want to type in Super Bluetooth. As you guys see, it's right there click on super Bluetooth now this is a really really cool feature um, you don't see this on a lot of phones honestly I haven't seen them on any other phone than this to be quite honest I don't really remember using any other phone that had this but really cool because T-Mobile is bringing the features with their phones this year uh, but we can actually connect up to four audio devices at one time so if you guys would like to synchronize and calibrate them together say you're at a party say you're at the beach or whatever say you're chilling with some friends you can actually hook up four different speakers at once and pair them together and it will emit the same sound coming from this device so I thought this was a really cool feature definitely go ahead and check this out if you guys have not done so already Alright everyone, so our eighth feature is going to be removing the animations now we usually did this going through developer options but it's a lot easier and uh, kind of just cut the BS when it came to this device and it kind of just gave it to you straight away but what we're gonna want to do is go into settings go to accessibility go ahead and click on that and scroll down to remove animations as you can see right here we have remove animations now this is going to remove any and all animations that are currently on the phone so as you guys see this is going to be extremely quick so if you guys are snap heads or if you guys want a quicker experience on your device this is a very cool thing to use it's definitely going to give you that speed that you need if you are that type of tech head all right everyone so the ninth tip is going to be in accessibility as well so we're going to go to settings right here scroll down to where it says accessibility as you guys can see go ahead and click on that and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you're going to see caption preferences and you can actually use captions so if you guys want to use closed captions whether you're watching a video, watching a movie, or seeing any type of social media. Um, if you're seeing any video that has words in general, you guys are going to see the captions and see the words on the screen. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, you can also customize the text size, the caption style, and the language as well. So I thought that was really, really cool. And last but not least, our last feature is going to be an accessibility go figure, right? So we're going to go into settings. We're going to go into accessibility again and we're gonna scroll down to pocket mode. Now, if you guys do not have this feature turned on, I would definitely recommend it. As you guys see, it says it prevents accidental operations from being carried out on your device when it's in your pocket or in your bag. So definitely turn this on if you carry your phone in your pocket or your purse or a bag. I know most of you usually have them in your hands 24 seven, but I would definitely turn this on so you guys make no butt calls. But yeah, guys, those are my tips and tricks on the new T-Mobile Rebel 5G. If you guys have any more, definitely put them in the comment section section down below I would love to know about them also if you guys have any more ideas of videos for me to make definitely leave them in the comment section down below but yeah guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you're not a part of the tech gang already also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video this has been some farm from tech right peace out tech gang